Good morning. I'm a journalist here to disclose findings um, regarding the Braves deal. Um, start with the bridge. It was recently disclosed that uh, the parking plan was finished. Could you give us your name and where you live? What district? My name, name is please? Craig Casillas. I live here in Cobb County. Thank you. Uh, we learned first. We were told by the ARC that the Braves bridge was bridge was required for the success of the parking plan. Um, many people supported it because of that. Um, we recently learned only one lot is going to be serviced by that. Um, it's only going to be opened occasionally, if at all. Um, I looked at, or I talked to the ARC. There's no record of, the, of any of the deliberations that brought forth that, those findings. Um, I'd like to know myself, and I think the public should know, so we can decide. Uh, who, who made that decision? Were they related to Cumberland? Were, were they related to the Braves? Were they related to Riverside Bank in any way? I think the public should know so they can judge your behavior. Secondly, um, Mr. Bonner, first slide, please. When the controversy about the $14 million came up, I did what any journalist would do to look for the facts. I found this when I looked for the development agreement. So then I did an open records request to get the actual document, and I found that three changes that I found were made in between the time that, uh, that you adopted, this board adopted that agreement, and it was signed by former Chairman Tim Lee. Thank you, sir. First one here, it's hard to read. I can't even read it. First one here, um, the words that were deleted, you see, changed this sentence dramatically and it went from the shall is an operative term meaning you will seek to as opposed to you'll get it done second slide please this one here seems grammatical i can't figure out what the heck it means third one this one here is a very significant this one here that sentence was deleted now, there's no grammatical error there, and that changes the scope of the, art of the agreement entirely. What this does here is it changes items. It changes items that would go into negotiations to one that would actually be on the record, and I can think of at least two just off the top of my head that would improve the alignments, realignments that were done to improve access, or we were told would improve access. First being Interstate North Parkway. The second being Windy Hill. Since the Braves deal was announced, every project within Cumberland, first of all, revenue has gone to Cumberland as opposed to everywhere else in Cobb County. Every project that came into Cumberland was told to be necessary to improve access to the, to the lot. Excuse me, am I interrupting you guys? Thank you. IPod. Well, I've, I've sent this to you via email many times here. So every project that was built in Cumberland since this announcement has been, has been touted as being necessary to improve access to the stadium and access to parking. Now is the time to look at that decision. Now, I'm here to ask you, I've uncovered these facts. I'm asking you to, to, to decide for yourself, were these changes substantive? before you decide whether or not to pay more money to the Braves. Um, I'm asking you to help me investigate these matters further as far as conflicts of interest with the ARC as far as the Braves Bridge is concerned. And I'm asking you to, to take a look at that and decide for yourself if those changes are relevant and then decide whether or not the Braves are owed more money. Thank you for your time. Thank you. The next speaker is David Birkenbein.